It's time for Eyewitness Sports. Utica Comets is the only team in the North Division that has played two games already this season. That's twice as much time to have seen what is working well and what needs to be improved early on. And head coach Trent Cole says he obviously liked the result of the first game that they won better than the 6-1 loss the next day. He says these first games were actually about identifying those strengths and weaknesses. Just how we got ourselves playing, how we're trying to get on the same page, how we're uh, all I guess moving along together and then uh, I thought the next night was one of those nights where it's uh, I thought they got uh, some fortunate bounces but that being said uh, they say the, the expression is you earn your bounces right so um, there's some parts of our game or our details I feel maybe have kind of uh, uh, aren't, aren't what they should be and which they're probably not going to be they've just had 10 months off so we're, you know, we're working on some of our habits and some of our details of our game that we'd like to get stronger. Cole says he doesn't think it was an issue with effort on Saturday night, but it was more of an issue with execution. The Comets next play Saturday at the Binghamton Devils in New Jersey. And in high school sports, there's a lot going on, and there's still a lot to figure out, too. Schools still making decisions about if they want to participate in high-risk sports or not, and if they do, which sports they'll play, and also which schools they'll play against. So the individual message for some Section 3 schools in Oneida and Herkimer County. VVS Athletic Director Randy Thomas says today that Red Devils are moving forward with basketball and volleyball. He says Tri-Valley League football set to start March 8th. And then Notre Dame Athletic Director Marty Nemesek says jugglers are going forward with varsity basketball only and are looking ahead to fall two after that. Clinton 80 Mike King says the Board of Ed tonight approved Tyra Sports to begin on February 22nd when they return from break. Utica Academy of Science AD Just Wagner said he had no comment today. And Little Falls AD Bart Tooley says the Board of Ed meeting for them is tomorrow. He says that Herkimer County schools are actually in touch about making what they call a pod of just themselves because of how different Herkimer County's guidelines are from other neighbors where they require less than 3% infection rates for COVID-19 on a 14-day average compared to the others on a 7-day average with 4%. He says they're going to talk with the conference and section about getting some special permission too to actually have a longer winter sports season into April. And speaking of high school sports, take a look at this. This is actually what Oneonta High School looked like in March on their last game of the year before everything got canceled. They actually lost this game, so that was their last one anyway. But this is also what the Yellow Jackets gym looked like tonight, minus, of course, all the fans around there. But there was a game, actually two games, Oneonta girls and boys basketball, both topped Windsor. At Zico County guidelines for high-risk sports were announced on January 27th. Public Health Director Heidi Bond told Eyewitness Sports on Friday, February 5th, that Oneonta had submitted a plan to play. So it looks like they got to playing pretty quickly, also getting those state-required six practices in somehow. So we'll be checking in with Oneonta soon about how it was able to do this so efficiently and if it can be a model for how other schools can do it. And in college basketball tonight, Syracuse men's basketball beat NC State 77-68. A one-point lead at halftime for the Orange turned into the win. Alan Griffin led with 22 points, but a Beheim and Quincy Gurrier also scored in double digits. The Orange improved to 11-6. and six. So for now, that's all for sports. Be sure to check out CMIHomepage.com for all your top sports stories and the continuing updates for all these high school sports. There's more Eyewitness News after the break. So stay friendly and stay tuned.